Hey everyone, welcome to this video looking at the model checker. So for those of you not aware, there is a series of BIM interoperability tools that are available free. Um, so Autodesk have these on BIMinteroperabilityTools.com and today we're going to look at the model checker for Revit and it allows you to build in um, and check your model uh, against the BIM standards. So I'm going to look at how we can check and create a custom check using the configurator to check the standards and the data within my Revit model. So when you install these add-ons they get added into the add-on tab and then they're available under the model checker. So as part of this we get the model check configurator and that will install into your um, program files so I've got this model check configurator. So I'm going to build a check and check for connections that are non-compliant. So in my Revit model I'm just going to select a connection there and change the approval status to rejected and I'm going to select a random base plate and I'm going to change that to rejected. So I'm just going to orbit my model around so I forget where they are. Hit the save button and I'm going to go back to my configurator. So this allows me to build a configuration so I'm going to go um, steel connection checker. Uh, you can put graphics and dialog boxes in so you can get when you run it, it will show with dialogs. But I'm going to leave all blank, so I'm just going to run through this pretty quickly to get the main configuration in. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to check the builder. For that, I'm going to save as and I'm going to save it into my folder and I'm going to call it JH Steel Connection. So in here, this allows me to build a hierarchy um, of checks. So I'm going to put a heading in, and I'm going to call it Steel Connections. And I'm going to add a section, and I'm going to go Rejected Connections. So I've got a hierarchy of Steel Connections, and then a subheading called Rejected. And this is where I can go in and create the check. So if I click Add Check, gives me the ability to create a advanced interface which allows me to manually um, build the check but a lot easier to use is the wizard so if I click use the wizard um, you can check from different criteria that you can check so we can look for general model information we can check the physical model elements the annotative elements datum points and we can check the views in this case I want to check the connection so it's going to be the model element and then it filters it down into the different disciplines and then I want to look at the structural element and I want to go, I want to find any elements matching my criteria, criteria. so I select it, you then select the category in this case let's say it's connections, we click the continue button and then I want some more information on the elements in the categories that I select so I want more information about that structural connection so I click more and then I want to include elements that meet the following criteria. So in here I'm looking for whether it be parameter, a phase, a host, a work set. So in this case I want to look for a, a, a specific parameter. I'm going to call it um, approval status, which is what it is in the model. Equals, I'm going to simply type rejected. So simple as that, I click continue. And then I'm done building this check and I'm ready to name it and I'm going to say rejected you can give a description show all rejected connections if the check fails I want the user to read this please check this connection so pretty simple and then I click finish so this will show me the configuration so if we look at it it's looking at a title it's required I have to run it as a default I've got descriptions and then basically it's looking for a category of structural connection which is included yes it then will then look for the parameter approval status equal to rejected so it's as simple as that I'm gonna just save as again and that is the connection checker that I want to run so it's JH steel connection checker and I can then exit the configurator so that is the connection check built. I then need to configure it and run it in my model. So to do that, we simply click configure, open, and this time we use, instead of creating a standard template, we're gonna go with one that I've just created. So I click open an existing configuration path, 
select the three buttons and I load my connection and then click OK. Then I have the connection check. So this is the one that I want to run. So you can see that is it there. I just hit save. And that saves the configurator, the configuration into the project. Close that down and then run the check. You can then run it on several models at once, but I'm going to just run it on the open model. And then I'm just going to go run reports. So it's went off really quickly and run a connection check. So it's telling me that the I have an overall result of 0%, so it has failed. And it tells me that these two connections have failed the, re the connection check. It tells me there's a count of 2. And if I just make that a little bit smaller, so it's telling me that there is a base plate and a haunch connection. And it says they have failed, please check this connection. And the beauty of the connection check is that I can just hit show and you'll see that Revit will go off into the model show me that connection so that is it there so I can change that to approved click apply then I can go to show on this one and you see it will zoom in highlight that connection I can change it to approved click apply and then I can go cancel or I can export it out export it to Excel if I go export it out to HTML, I can go to um, this folder. You can see there is the connection failed out to HTML. But if we go back to Revit model, we close this down and we run the connection check again. So let's go to add ins, run the check, select the model, run the report. You can see now I have. 100% pass rate and no rejections have failed because I've quickly changed it. So just using the model check configurator I can go in and build in whatever check I want. So whatever you think you need you can build it into the system. That's a really quick unique way of finding it. So thank you very much for joining.